Yep, and we are already loaded into the game. This could potentially be the, the last game of the series. Uh, the next series is going to be MC against Marine, Marine Lord, Lord, so that should be pretty amazing of a, of a PVT. And uh, if you want to bet on that, go to esportgaming.com slash root and sign up right now. We have on the top left-hand side of the map, the Spanish Red Third. It is Vortex. Vortex, not Vortex. Sorry. No, Harsim corrected me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, so spawning in the bottom position, representing NVP, it is Ryung. Barcode. The barcode. Um, Arena is probably in that hole. He's going for a. It looks like a Reaper expand, which on this map, I guess if you had to be afraid of anything, it's the short rush distance. Uh. Like a rav a quick ravagers are really good on this map, just because you can just it the like the rush distance is the biggest factor in this map. Right. Um, but I've also seen like Terrans actually depot off the uh, choke and go three racks behind it. So there's a lot of weird things that can happen. But absolutely, that that sounds cool actually. And uh, yeah, we have four vortex just. Uh a gas, a hatch gas pool, and that was a 17 hatch, but a uh, uh, 17 pool, by the way. So it's not too delayed. It's a little bit earlier than than uh, actually not earlier than the norm. But you can go like 17 or 18 pool normally mm -hmm. on a map like this. You would probably want to go 17 or even 16 pool just to be safe against the Reaper. I'm not sure if Young's Reaper will be able to arrive before links are out. It it might get a, a, a grenade shot on the mineral line of Vortex if uh, if he's just quick enough for that. So we'll see. Four links in production for Vortex, that's pretty much the standard. Four to six links is usually what you want, unless you go for something like a pool first. And then you can rely on the Queen being out in time for the Reapers, for example. So an additional two drones being produced as well. Just gonna stay on four links for the time being. Mm, and they will be out. So. No speed yet, so maybe Roach Horn? Uh, very likely Roach Horn. Yeah, there it is. So we're most likely gonna see uh, five, five or so Roach push with... Uh, with a couple, a couple of Ravagers being morphed in and just try to pressure Ryung's uh, natural base. So a cute little build, build by Vortex here. He's already lost a circling, but that's not too bad. Two circlings yeah. now. And the Queen should be popping up soon yep. and that should put a stop to the Reaper's aggression. So, um, I'm not sure. I think Ryung, he might... <laughs> I'm not sure how you actually scout this as Ryung besides suiciding the Reaper in. But... Getting a bunker is always helpful against it. You can actually wall off the, or semi wall off the natural with the bunker and depot, which as we see, he's getting a bunker right now. And there's the wall off right there. Yeah, it looks like he's <laughs> gonna be going for a Widowmine drop potentially again, but that Widowmine could serve a, a dual purpose and in, in being defensive as well. However, if this is spotted, then then Vortex, if he, if he does make a couple of Ravagers, which I'm not sure if it will be the case here, that could be pretty good for him. He doesn't have a second gas, so maybe just one Ravager or maybe additional Roaches even. I'm um, not sure what his plan is going to be, but if he made a couple of Ravagers, that Widow Mine could be uh, could be pretty bad for Ryung because it just takes two Corrosive Vials to, yep. to kill He him. really needs a tank to defend, essentially. Like, uh, if it's just a bunker with bio units, the bio, uh, the Ravagers will just constantly keep filing it down and forcing money out of it. And it looks like the widow mine was wasted on a on a, on a pair of surgeons or a Oh wow, look at that. Really nice micro white vortex just morphing the, the roach that was weak. And uh oh, does lose one but Yeah he's not he's not focusing the SEVs Vortex is not so I think he was just waiting for the file maybe or actually no yeah he should have been focusing. Maybe he thought with only like three or four SEVs he could DPS it down quick enough. But yeah maybe the Widow Mine actually yeah. we were criticizing the Widow Mine it's actually gotten two two hits off so uh, yeah, two hits off, but one was on circlings, and the second one realistically shouldn't have happened, right? Yeah, it shouldn't have. But he only like, made that bunker should have fallen by. Uh, he didn't make ravagers. He should have fallen. Before he just committed with the roaches. He didn't make the ravagers. Yeah, Usually he, he you would see ravagers. three ravagers yeah. with the overlord for high ground and just keep uh, cross abiling. But instead he's gonna opt for a third and he's just gonna drone up. Um, Absolutely. Uh, Link speed now being researched by Vortex. And He's being sieged. Oh, wow. This is a really tough position for him to be Especially in. Especially really because he nice doesn't have right speed, so he can't close the distance on the siege tank. Yeah, and those queens are really important because they can get rid of the medevac potentially. And without that, um, the main tank is just going to have free reign. If you don't get rid of that medevac, and he is working on oh, it. Oh, that is file, huge. Game saving potentially. 
there for Vortex on the lifeline. Getting both the medevac and the tank at the same time just... Um, you know, that's that's exactly what he needed to, to bring himself yeah. back in. And with, without that, he might have just lost the game right there. So Maybe it was a little greedy for Ryung to move the tank up to the high ground using I the cliff as cover. Mm, I mean... Because he had hit... He yeah, had... But the, but the, I mean, the cross should be good, right? Yeah. Uh, Liberator gonna get oh, some damage position, done, but it's gonna get... Oh, close to taking down. It escapes with almost no HP. It gets lost somewhere in the ethers. So Ryong is going to opt for that third command center, which is almost done, and going to double eBay, believe it or not. Usually, like, if it's such a close spawn map, you don't really push for, the like, the late game or the mid game. Um, like, usually I see a lot of people do, like, a double medevac, double liberator drop into the main, because you can zone out that main ramp so easily. Yeah, the, the rush to this one by air is so close as well. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, the liberator did get away, didn't it? Yeah, so I'm... It got repaired by the looks of it. Yeah, it got repaired. It might go back, but I'm surprised it's not clearing the Overlords. It's always like a weird thing. Like, if you have a Liberator, do you clear out the Overlord? Or do you go and try to get as much damage as you can as a, like when it comes to workers? He's going to get two oh! queens in. Should have just committed that third one. The Liberator is going to potentially go back and get repaired again. But it, it looks like Ryang's going to do the greedy thing and try to get more value off of it. It might just cost him the Liberator's oh. life. Good for us at Balder. It would have hit if, if Ryang wasn't paying attention, but he is. Now headed into the natural base, but again, this could be pretty dangerous. Maybe the third would be a safer location, and that's where he's headed now. So that's that's all right for him, but there is a queen in position, and that will get... Yeah, the, the queen will definitely kill it. <laughs> if the Liberator sieges, which it did not. So yeah, I'm not sure if he was always never gonna siege the Liberator. He might have as well just gone back and repaired it once again. Or even clear the Overlords away. Yeah, sure. Both, maybe the overlords on his way back and then go repair it he's gonna find this overlord over here still ignoring it mm, does vortex have any upgrades he does not have any upgrades yeah, vortex is pretty committed to to an attack here he yeah. does not have any upgrades or anything to fall, to fall back on really nice spotting marine already by Ryang. just on top of his game uh Ryang, this this entire series really just outstanding play by him mm -hmm. he's not like he didn't take that third right when it was finished he kept on two bases yeah, this is gonna be. I wonder if he'll be able. Oh, 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 really nice Last pickup. second save on the team. And the, the Liberator still staying alive. So it's not good news for Vortex and that. Oh, he does oh. lose a tank, and he almost lost that medevac. He lost yeah, both the, 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 But the Liberator, how many kills is that Liberator? Holy well, it doesn't matter now. It's gonna die. Thirteen Liberator. It doesn't matter now. I mean, it, it matters. I, I thought you weren't going to be able to click it by then. That's why I said it doesn't matter. Oh, but I'm, I'm a StarCraft player and I like you, Peter, <laughs> so I can actually click on stuff. He did get a healthy number of SCVs, though, behind it. Like, 30 workers have gone out for Ryan. I yeah. mean, he does have three C three orbitals with if, if he had gotten the three crosser piles onto that Liberator, though, that could have changed a lot. I mean, 13 kills is quite significant. Even 13 circlings right now would be pretty pretty all right to have, like, pretty good. And I doubt that it was on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, still, like you said, Vortex in a good position here. Oh, almost getting the medevac oh, there. Really nice micro right Not there. Not quite. And and that, that Widow Mine also staying alive, it, it amounted to five, five kills. kills. So a lot of really cost-efficient units, single cost-efficient units for, for uh, Ryang is what's keeping him in the game. And and funnily enough, it's the units <coughs> that he doesn't have to micro. It's the units that he just has to have in place. So uh, a little bit of a blunder. When you look at it like that from, from Vortex, mm -hmm. who is still kind of committed to this, but he is now getting 1-1, one, one, so that's a little bit odd. But of Ryang course, is going for 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, that's that's going to be pretty rough for the for the Spanish turn here. But uh, we'll see we'll see what he's able to accomplish. He is going for a fourth base, so definitely trying to go the macro route again. Uh, Ryang is going to be well met with this Metavax. Forced to shoo away. But it looks like he'll go and stem in later and try to pick it off. Yeah. So that mm. could very well work. We'll see if Ryang tries to pull the attention of Vortex somewhere else. Maybe pull the army back to the main or something. Uh, to the main and then and then, then try to get a knight on that fourth. A very common Terran tactic. Yep, of course. Um, we'll see. Like uh, Ryang actually hasn't put in a second factory when he's on three base, which is pretty interesting. Um, as I say that, there goes the second factory right now. I would really like a drop in the main right now since uh, he has all the attention towards the fourth of the base. 
but I really like Ryung's defensive uh, position right now. Like those tanks guarded by the obstacles. Um, I don't even know what you call that. Like <laughs> um, platform the generator, the generator, okay. the energy generator. But uh, really good positioning by him. Uh, I wouldn't wouldn't mind to see a depot at the choke just to see. There's only one real way, and that middle way is the only way that the Zerg can actually um, push into you. And yeah. here comes Vortex. We'll see how much damage he can get done. There's only one siege tank here, so uh, Ryung actually moved all of his moved most of the siege tanks away. And yeah, this is actually that's, really that's good. For him if he goes into the third, he can go uncontested. Yeah, Vortex defending at the same time at his fourth, but oh, actually he's gonna oh. he's gonna commit to this. Young though, saving these tanks are pretty much the only like thing that's his defense right now. Yeah, this is free, uh, free, free mineral line for Vortex, so he's not paying attention right now. He has to reposition those Ravagers, and he does. He needs to take down those SCVs. I'm not sure why he's not. Um, killing the supply depots is of course nice, but killing the SCVs would have been a much better bounty. And actually, Ryang almost able to pick up that base. If he had stimmed them, maybe just uh, focus fired it. I think he would have gotten it. But uh, finally, Ryang pulls back. Uh, he's gonna shoot Vortex away. Good, good for Austin Biles. Good, great for Austin Biles now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn the fight around one more time. I'm gonna be able to pick off an additional two supply depots or just one. I could have committed for that one perhaps. But uh, yeah, had Vortex killed the mineral line of Ryang there, it would have been a pretty yeah, big deal. Huge deal. But, uh, he did not. Still, Vortex hanging in the game. He is getting 2 2 now, and Ryang hasn't started 3 3. So there will be a timing window where they are even on upgrades. And, uh, you know, that, that may not have been possible if, if Ryan had kept upgrading, but his economy is not great after having to lift, lift up the CC and stop mining there for a bit. So, let's see. Ryan or Vortex, rather than moving into an infestation pit, we'll see if he decides to go for infestors, yeah. commit to infestors like Snoot did, or start a transition into a faster hive. I mean, he has tanks to defend at home. I really like would like to see multi-drops everywhere. Like, yeah. the main and the fourth are so far apart. Like, he keeps focusing on the fourth, but I think if he even had, like, a Liberator, or just one Liberator in the main, it would help out. Because Vortex is, uh, I don't think he's gotten a score this whole game. He's just used Queens and Ravagers to, to um, defend against Liberators. But, as we see, the plus three attack is finally starting, and Pathogen Glands are starting, so it's going to be that Ravager and Fester composition that's, um, pesky. Yeah, it's it's pesky. It's pretty annoying, but I would think that it's like if the fungals hit, you can pretty much count all those units getting fungal just goodbye because the corrosive biles will just go all over it. Right. Green. But um, good concave from Vortex. Yeah, very good. This is gonna be a really good engagement for him. Uh, actually, Ryung's right actually, yeah, away. he's actually uh, split the tank count in half, and this actually might. Can't, he might commit into this, but I think it's a mistake because there are still tanks on the uh, the natural. Yeah, Vortex <clears throat> has been pretty quick to try to go for the, the kill move every time. And, and I think he could have found some damage after taking those supply depots if he had just run into the third and tried to pick up some SEVs and tr instead of trying to potentially end the game. Uh, Pattern and Glance is now done, but only now the Infestors are started. This medevac still being pretty annoying uh, for Vortex. Uh, the queens are the only anti-air that, that uh, the only reliable anti-air that, that uh, Vortex has. So we'll see, we'll see. Like you said, no sports. So <laughs> medevacs just have free reign to go wherever they want. Vortex with good positioning is gonna stop them, and we are not paying attention to that particular mm -hmm. medevac at this point in time. Vortex now going for his fifth base. But plus three vehicle weapons are gonna be insane. These tanks are pretty much gonna like destroy the roaches if uh, they have like four tanks hitting like a clump of roaches they're all just gonna get shattered um, I wonder why um, Ryong's not going to like more tanks or even more liberators and he's trying to defend this one area he actually has been doing really well with the siege tanks with the medevacs but he's actually losing a couple now and then yeah, as, really as I say good, that really good control by Vortex really good for us <laughs> fast Oh, this is a really bad choke for uh, Ryung. Oh, oh, the fungal. Really good for us to pass once again, even, even prior to the fungals. But and Ryung focus firing those investors, two full energy investors falling down, an equally big deal uh, for Vortex. He really needed those two for, for this attack, but it might not matter. He's actually off some roaches. This is going to kill the third mineral line, and this might be the equalizer here right now. Leading by over 100 supply is the Spanish Zerg. 
and it looks like he's finally found a way back into the space. Oh yeah, most definitely. I think uh, he, the first two attempts for him trying to actually kill Ryong were like not lackluster, but I feel like he could have just stood back and like maxed out. And uh -huh. now he, when he did push out, he was maxed out. Versus Ryong just sent out two medevac full of marines. And he tried to use just the tanks to defend, but it was just the tanks and the army, the bio army in front of the tanks was not really an army. It was just like a couple of marines and that was it. So it just got shattered by the concave of uh, Vortex. As yeah. we see, like, he is cleaning up this army right here and those medevacs are actually pretty uh, beaten up. So, you know, Queen might be able to pick at him. And this is actually a pretty big deal if uh, Vortex can get this. Yeah. Uh, I think the game's pretty much over, right? Like, if we look at the supply, I don't think there's much that Ryan can do from this position. And, uh, I think when that falls, he will GG. I don't think so. I don't you don't think, think he'll so. GG after that? Well, he didn't, right? Well, he didn't, but you didn't think so? Like, he's on two base versus yeah, four base? That's, that's, why I, yeah, that's why I said I don't think so. But I, I didn't think so because he hadn't GG'd after that point. Maybe he thinks he can get something with drops done, but... Yeah, if this is equal, so. Good oh, really good combo. Come on, dog! You said after the CC, he's waiting for after the CC fall. Yeah, please, one for us to fall in the CC. Well, it'll slowly burn. Is he really oh. thing? Can we DQ him? Okay, he's, he's counter-attacking, that's why, but 29 supply against 157 is probably not gonna end up well for the for the MVP Terran here. Yeah, I mean, if he might be able, like, I'm, if he is gonna float anywhere, why wouldn't he float to the goal? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he, he and floated he all the buildings the except the CC. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not sure what he's thinking will happen here. This would be the greatest comeback in history, though. Oh yeah, definitely, but in his turn. I mean, he's getting his army cleaned up, he has like 10 million. GG, GNG. Right. He probably wanted to go 3-0, that's, or, yeah, he probably wanted to do 3-0. You think so? Yeah. Really badly. Maybe. Because you've been hyping up the foreigners, the foreigners like, since the, the beginning. The foreigners have done well. I yeah. don't think anyone got 3-0.